All right, it's a new year, which means maybe you wanna learn a new thing, or maybe you're already learning that new thing, which is Blender. Um, so in today's video, I wanna show you the best way to learn Blender in 2023. So what is that going to look like? Well, there's two ways you can do it, free and paid. Um, and you can combine those two if you'd like to as well, which is what I did when I was learning Blender. So what I did was I compiled a list of the best YouTube channels to watch and I categorized them by what their speciality is, which is say like hard surface, environments, motion graphics, materials. So all those different things that you may wanna know, I have a guy for you. Then we're also gonna go into the paid route, which is if you have some money at hand, Let's watch some courses, let's speed up that workflow, let's speed up that process of learning. So I compiled, in my opinion, some of the best courses to watch in this new year. Now, of course, I can't go without mentioning my channel. Watch my channel. If you like my channel, keep watching it. Uh, so we're gonna get into all of that right after this quick shout out. Welcome to Real Time Materials, a collection of customizable procedural materials compatible with Eevee and Cycles. With over six years of experience, I have created an add-on currently containing 240 materials across 14 surface categories. This add-on will speed up your workflow, allowing you to stay creative while maximizing your artistic output. You might be thinking, what about image textures? Image textures are easy to set up, but don't give you any control. Real-time materials are loaded with custom properties, giving you the freedom to change roughness, color, and all kinds of patterns. You can change the shape of wood, the direction of cloth weave, and the size of scratches, among many other parameters. Even if you already know how to make procedural materials, imagine the time you will save if you could apply those materials in one easy click. All right, so we're gonna start off with the free route, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, YouTube is how I learned Blender in the beginning. In fact, I watched only YouTube tutorials for like three years before even watching my first course. Um, and the guy you need to start off with from the very beginning is Blender Guru. Now, Blender Guru is the OG tutorial guy, and he has a course called the Donut Series. In fact, he has a playlist for it. Check out that playlist. If you are just starting out in Blender, watch that. Everyone has seen that. I think anyone who's learned Blender watched the Donut course. That is going to get you from beginning to end how to be comfortable with Blender so that you can go into these next couple channels that I'm going to talk about, which are going to you know get into what you're interested in. So watch the Blender Guru Donut series. That's going to get you comfortable enough to go into the weird wild west of the of YouTube tutorials. All right, hard surface modeling. Maybe that's an insider uh, term, but it's basically like hard surfaces, basically, you know, cars, machines, all that stuff. Josh Graham Bell is the guy for that. He's been the guy since I've seen him. I don't think anyone's ever kind of done as much as he's done. Watch Josh Graham Bell. He's an incredible teacher. He's a cool dude, and he makes very, very good videos about hard surface modeling. He's a cool guy. Uh, check out his courses. Check out his tools. He's got some really cool stuff, but more than that, just a really good YouTube channel that you can rely on. And I want to say that I picked these channels based on guys who are currently uploading. Hi, Kat. I picked these channels based on who is uploading now, who you can rely on to subscribe to, who's still making content. There's so many YouTube channels out there. I know I'm going to miss some, but I picked these guys based on reliability and current uploading and all that. Mess. So comment down if you think I should have mentioned some other guys, but we're going to keep on going. All right, motion graphics. Uh, we're gonna start out with Dirk Elliott. He has some very, very good motion graphics tutorials to watch. Um, I love his content. Now he does more than just motion graphics, but but of the motion graphics tutorials he has, high quality, very humorous too. He's a funny guy. Um, but watch those tutorials. He's got some just really good stuff on product animation as well. So he's super cool. And also watch my channel. That's my thing. I pretty much only teach motion graphics and abstract weirdness. Um, I've, I'll, <clears throat> I've also been making videos like this, which is kind of like general information stuff, which I love to make. But my main thing that I love is motion graphics. So if you're into that, watch my channel, subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed. It's a patch of mine. I don't do the motion graphics tutorials for the views. I do them because they genuinely make me happy to make them. I love making cool stuff and I love sharing it. So, you know, it's just so, so fun for me. So Subscribe to the channel if you want really cool motion graphics stuff and Dirk Elliott. All right, character animation, character design, character rigging, two guys. First one, Southern Shoddy. He's actually a close friend of mine, love the guy, and he makes quality stuff. Um, I get basically every day a question asking me to make rigging tutorials. I won't be making a rigging tutorial, but who you can rely on for that 
is Southern Shoddy. Uh, he has a very distinct style. I love his style. Um, characters, environments, different things like that. Uh, even really good shading tutorials. You could rely on him for some really cool stuff. Also, Grant Abbott. Now, Grant has been doing tutorials like forever, and he just has a massive discography. Is that the right word? Is that just for music? I don't know. Um, but a massive collection of character tutorials, rigging tutorials, and a billion other things that he's so good at. Um, check him out. Check out Southern Shoddy. All right. Procedural shading. This is a topic that doesn't get covered quite enough on YouTube. Um, it's just because the incentive isn't there. They don't get quite as many uh, views or attention, so the channels don't really put the time in. I have quite a lot of them. I have a playlist just for procedural materials, but someone who's currently making them is Ryan King Art. He is very, very cool. He has really good tutorials, um, even beginner-friendly concepts about procedural materials. Check him out for procedural materials. He's currently making them. He might be the only guy currently consistently putting out procedural materials. I hope he continues to do that because they're really, really good, and there's a lot to learn. Even with new material, uh, even with Blender adding new notes, he's keeping up with those, so check them out. All right, general information, things like cool features, updates, cool art that he's doing, that's Curtis Holt. Curtis Holt is a friend of mine. Uh, we've been, we kind of came up at the same time, I think. I don't know. I don't know the timeline, but I've been, basically, as soon as I started, I've been watching him. He's cool, and he makes really good informational content about Blender. He's passionate about it. He's very talented. He has a really cool channel. If he actually has two channels, check both of them out. If you like Curtis, you'll like the other channel. Uh, but he just has quality content, and you know from the videos that he loves what he's doing. He's passionate about it, and those are the guys that you want to see. Those are the guys you want to watch because they're not doing it just because. They're doing it because they love it. Curtis is one of those guys, so check him out. All right, if you're into modeling, even getting into the basics, understanding how things work, um, and beyond the basics, Polygon Runway is the guy. He uploads a lot of like one-hour scene breakdown how to make videos which is they're hard to come by most people make them like 10 to 20 minute tutorials he's recording an hour uh, those guys are the people you want to support because they're hard to come by um, and he's incredibly talented he knows color he knows how to make a beautiful piece of art but he's also just an incredibly skilled artist in blender he's good at modeling if you're into modeling you want to see how that stuff is done he has hours and hours of content Check him out, he's awesome. Now, if you're just kind of interested in everything or interested in entertaining Blender content as a whole, CG Geek is the guy. He's awesome. Um, you, there's just kind of everything, simulations, modeling, compositing, just fun stuff, characters. He's an entertaining guy, he's an entertaining creator, and he's incredibly skilled. Um, I can't recommend him enough. I've been watching him ever since I found him and he's one of my favorites. I can't say enough good things about his content. Um, check him out, subscribe to him, he's awesome. And lastly, if you're into environments, which is another thing that is hard to come by where like one guy is doing a bunch of it, is somebody who's new onto the YouTube scene but not new on the world of 3D making cool environments is Max Hay. Um, he has a big Instagram account and he started making YouTube and I wanna support him but also he's just freaking good. Uh, Max Hay, he makes really cool tips and tricks on environments, how he makes these really cool things. Um, he's, a, he's a fresh face onto the, the YouTube scene, and I hope he continues to make these videos because he's awesome. He's been blown up. Check him out. Now, the YouTube tutorial scene is big. It's growing, but it's big. Uh, so I can't go without mentioning these guys. These are my honorable mentions, but that doesn't mean that they are not as important as the guys that I mentioned. I, they, there's only so many people I can mention in a list. Check all of these guys out. Kind of screenshot this, look them all up, subscribe to all of them. If you want to build a cool subscription feed, subscribe to all of these guys because they're dope, they're awesome, and they make really good content. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to kind of pinpoint them into one thing, so I wasn't able to make a list. You can hear my cat jingling inside here. Um, but they're awesome, and subscribe to all of them. It, you know, if you're starting out and you don't know who to subscribe to, these are the guys. All right, this is the paid route. The route, if you have some cash uh, to pay for some courses, do it, highly recommend it. A friend of mine actually described watching a course as kind of a cheat code, uh, where you can go from point A to point B drastically quicker than if you're watching YouTube tutorials, because here's the logic. With YouTube tutorials, you are bouncing around, um, basically just trying to figure out what's the next video I'm gonna watch, what is cool in the moment. Uh, a course is gonna take you step by step what is the correct path to learning a skill. 
Um, it's much quicker, it's much more reliable. Now these courses I picked because they are quality, reliable, and very useful courses. This isn't just some guy making a course because he thinks he knows something. These people really do know something. So that's what we're gonna do. Now this first course is maybe the craziest course that we've seen in a long time. And it's the Realistic Portrait Creation course uh, within Blender. So the aim of the course, you're gonna be making photorealistic um, faces and portraits, which is a very daunting task. It's very hard to do. And a lot of people think you can't do it in Blender. You can. Now the course is 100% Blender, meaning no other programs are involved. We're just using Blender for this. And it's over 28 hours of content. It's step by step. It teaches you everything. Um, what more can you ask? 28 hours of content. And it's not even that crazy expensive. So check it out. All of these are linked in the description. Now this next course is by the guy that I loved the most when I was learning Blender, Gleb Alexandrov of Creative Shrimp. This is a Creative Shrimp course. So it is a photogrammetry course, basically using Blender and Reality Capture to create photorealistic scans that you can use in 3D. Now, it's probably the most comprehensive course in this subject of photogrammetry in the Blender world. It's just awesome, and it's very, very well done. I mean, this isn't Gleb's first course. All of his courses are crazy good, and this one is no exception. So you're gonna be using Blender 3.0, Reality Capture, GIMP, and Darktable for this stuff. You know, we're going outside of the world of Blender, but don't let that scare you. If you're going to be using 3D as your job, you're just eventually gonna be stepping out of Blender for other things, and this is a good way to learn that. Now, this is a intermediate course, so if you were just starting, you know, this week, this month, not the course for you yet, bookmark it. If you're into scanning things in the real world and bringing them into and doctoring them up and making them look awesome, this is a great course. Uh, it's a lot of people watched it, a lot of people loved it, and I can't say enough good things about it. Piggybacking off of Creative Shrimp, this is another Creative Shrimp course. Uh, this one is your procedural texturing masterclass. Now this one, this particular Creative Shrimp course is not taught by uh, Gleb, it's taught by a guy named Luca Root. I think I'm saying his name right. But he is crazy good. If you follow him on Twitter, he's posting stuff all the time, especially during the November stuff. He is a wizard and I'm so happy he made a course. So this course is a deep dive into node-based procedural materials and it's gonna make you feel very comfortable with making materials in Blender. Um, uh, like a year or so ago, I was making tons and tons of procedural material uh, tutorials and I learned a lot from just researching and watching and stuff. This course is gonna circumvent all that and just like from start to finish, now you know how they work. So check it out if you wanna learn kind of the fast track to learning procedural materials, this is a good course. All right, this is my course. <laughs> uh, this is a motion graphics course that I created about a year ago. Now I made it for people who are beginners and intermediate users um, and you're gonna be learning how to make looping animations uh, specifically. So it's gonna go through seven different projects aimed to teach you tons of different components, tips and tricks, and making vibrant, beautiful motion graphics. That's the whole idea. We're making them loop, we're making them beautiful, um, and each one of the chapters is designed to teach you like a collection of tips and tricks because that's the, that's the thing about motion graphics and Blender is Blender isn't streamlined for that. So you have to jump around the scene. You know, you sculptors are lucky enough to have one sculpting suite within Blender. Uh, we don't have like a MoGraph suite like in Cinema 4D. So you have to jump around. And that was the challenge when I made this course and I did it. So if you want to watch uh, and learn how to make motion graphics and learn just a billion different tips and tricks for making cool looping motion graphics, check out this course. All right. This next course is by a cool company that I love and I know called CG Cookie. Now they made a beginner course where you are going to learn about modeling and shading and lighting all in one course. So if you're just starting out, this is the course. This course is meant for beginners. It will walk you through essentially your first day um, making a really cool project where you're gonna be creating a handheld 80s gaming console. They're gonna teach you a bunch of really cool tricks, uh, modeling, shading, lighting, and making it look awesome. In my opinion, the, the perfect beginner course. All right, the last one is also an insane course, Mastering 3D Environments in Blender. Now it comes from the guys over at CG Boost you're gonna learn how to create large scale environments only using free tools. Uh, you will learn how to make mountains, oceans, forests, deserts, clouds, weather effects, and a bunch of really cool things. Uh, the, I mean, the promo video speaks for itself that you're watching. It's gorgeous and you can make it. Um, again, 
it's within Blender. Nothing crazy. We're not going outside the world of Blender to make all this stuff. We're, we're using Blender. It's a Blender course. Uh, so check that out. I watched it myself. It's mind-blowing. Check them out. Check out these courses. And we're done. That is how to learn Blender in 2023. I hope you liked this. Um, and if you are just starting out in Blender, good luck. It's awesome. My best tip is don't get discouraged in the first month. You're going to want to quit in the first month. The first month is the most boring month learning Blender. I hated it. I took a lot of naps. Nothing made me more tired than watching tons of tutorials. But just get through it because it's going to benefit you. If you're into 3D, the program's free. Buy some courses. Watch some free tutorials. Doesn't matter. Have fun. Um, watch at least one tutorial a day, at least one and make a render with it. Okay, whatever, I'm rambling. Um, see you guys later. I hope you learned some stuff. Feel free to subscribe, like, and recommend, and I'll see you uh, in 2023.